Hello everyone, welcome back to Amin Maths Club. So today we have a nice Olympiad question which is 5 over x multiplied by 5 over x is equal to x over 5. So we have to find the value of x. How we can uh, find the value of x here? First of all, uh, we have to multiply this um, x uh, 5 over x. The reciprocal of this x over 5 which is 5 over x. So we have to multiply 5 over x on both hand side. So first step is I am going to write that multiplying 5 over x on both sides so we get here 5 over x multiply by 5 over x times 5 over x is equal to x over 5 times 5 over x so we have just multiplied 5 over x on both hand side here if we see that our left hand side is actually it is 1 times 1 times 1 so as we know that uh, if we have a times a times a then it will be equal to a cubed so 5 over x whole raised to power 3 is equal to cancelling 5 with 5 and x with x we get 1 so now 5 over x whole cubed and shifting this one we get minus 1 which is equal to 0 now using um, basic algebra formula here so algebra formula which is uh, a cubed minus b cubed means 1 cubed so we are just going to use a cubed minus b cubed which is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared so using uh, this formula here then we get 5 over x here 1 is actually 1 cubed so 5 over x minus 1 times here we just write 5 over x whole squared plus 1 times 5 over x is actually 5 over x and plus 1 square is equal to 1 which is equal to 0 now here we have two conditions so first one is that 5 over x minus 1 is equal to 0 and 5 over x whole squared plus 5 over x plus 1 is equal to 0 so there are uh, two possible conditions uh, now from first one 5 over x is uh, minus 1 is equal to 0 we are going to find the value of x here shifting minus 1 we get plus 1 so cross multiplying x1 is x 5 1 is 5 here our first value of x is our real solution which is x is x is equal to 5 now finding other one then we get here if we are going to suppose that 5 over x let us suppose that 5 over x is equal to m so this equation will be m squared plus m plus 1 is equal to 0 now it is a nice quadratic equation we have to solve this by using quadratic formula here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is also equal to 1 so using uh, quadratic formula as we know that here m is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a now putting values then we get m is equal to minus 1 plus minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over all over 2 times a is 1 so m is equal to minus 1 plus minus 1 squared is equal to 1 and 4 times 1 is 4 all over 2 times 1 is 2 so we get here minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 and here actually minus 3 so we just put here it is i iota all over 2 now m is equal to we have two values of m first one is m is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3 i all over 2 and similarly m is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 3 i all over 2 so these are two values of m now as we have supposed that m is actually it is equal to 5 over x so putting here 1 by 1 the value of m then we get here that 5 over x is equal to m so putting here then we get 
फाइव ओवर एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन प्लस स्क्वे रूट ऑफ थ्री आई ऑल ओवर टू ना फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट कंडीशन देन वी हैव हेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू राइट दैट द रेसी प्रॉपल ऑफ दिस ऑन बोथ हैंड साइड सो वी जस्ट टेक हैंग दैट टेक रेसी प्रॉपल ऑन बोथ साइड देन वी गेट हेयर फाइव ओवर एक्स वेल बी एक्स ओवर फाइव चेंजिंग नोमिनेटर विथ डी नोमिनेटर देन वी हैव हेयर टू ओवर माइनस वन प्लस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ थ्री आई नाओ एक्स ओवर फाइव इज इक्वल टू इफ यू जस्ट चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ दीज टू टर्म्स देन वी कैन राइट स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ थ्री आई माइनस वन नाओ मल्टीप्लाइंग by and the conjugate of this one then we get square root of 3i and plus 1 now dividing by the same this term then we have square root of 3i plus 1 now our next step is x over 5 is equal to multiplying by 2 times square root of 3i plus 1 and here denominator actually a minus b times a plus b so we can write here that square root of 3 i it is actually a squared and minus b squared here it is 1 squared now here we just use this formula that basic school formula which is a squared minus b squared which is equal to a plus b times a minus b now x over 5 is equal to 2 times square root of 3 i plus 1 All over here, that square root of three whole squared, and i squared minus one squared is equal to one. So our next step is two times square root of three i. Now uh, we just write this plus one, and here cancelling square with square root three i out of square is actually it is equal to minus one. So minus one x over five. Is equal to two times square root of three i plus one all over here. Three times one is minus three. Here minus one times three is minus one. Minus three and minus one is actually minus four. So two one is two. Two two is our four. Then we have x over five is equal to. We just write negative sign here. That minus times square root of three i plus one. All over two. Now here we see that x over five. If we multiply, uh, cross multiply, then we have that x x times two is actually two x. So we just write here on that five multiplying here. Then we get minus five multiply by square root of three i plus one and all over here. It is two, so we just write here two. Then, if we multiply this minus five, then we have minus five times square root of three i and plus minus minus five one is five all over two. Now x is equal to minus five over two, and here minus five. Times square root of three i over two, so it is the value of x. Now we just write this value. It is our second value of x. Now we are going to solve this one. That m is equal to actually m is equal to minus one minus square root of three i over two. So we have as m is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 3 i over 2 now we know that but value of m here actually value of m is equal to 5 over x so 5 over x putting value of m then we have minus 1 minus square root of 3 i over 2 now here um, we just write uh, first of all we have to multiply minus 1 on both hand side so multiplying 
by minus 1 on both sides then we have here it will be uh, actually minus 5 over x which is equal to minus time 1 is plus 1 and minus minus plus square root of 3 i all over 2 so now here if we take reciprocal then we get minus x over 5 which is equal to 2 divided by square root of 3 i plus 1 now we are going to um, multiply by conjugate here then we have square root of 3 i minus 1 and square root of 3 i plus 1 now minus x over 5 is equal to 2 times square root of 3 i minus 1 all over here square root of 3 i whole squared and uh, it will be actually we have that it is actually we have minus so plus minus minus 1 squared now minus x over 5 is equal to 2 times square root of 3 i minus 1 all over 3 square root whole squared times i squared minus 1 squared is equal to 1 so our next step will be 2 times square root of 3 i minus 1 all over cancelling square with square root and i squared is equal to minus 1 so we have minus 3 minus 1 that here minus 3 minus 1 so minus x over 5 is equal to here if we write this minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 so we just write 2 multiply by square root of 3 i minus 1 and here minus 4 we just write 4 and minus can be written outside this parenthesis so here 2 1 is 2 2 2s are 4 now minus x over 5 is equal to um, that uh, if we cancel this negative sign on both hand sides so it will be positive so x over 5 is equal to square root of 3 i minus 1 all over 2 by cross multiplication we get 2 times x is 2x so we just write x and 5 times square root of 3 i minus 1 all over 2 now x is equal to multiply this 5 into parentheses we have uh, we just write that 5 times square root of 3 i and minus 5 all over 2 so here we have x is equal to here x is equal to minus 5 over 2 and plus 5 times square root of 3 over 2 we have just uh, rearranged these two terms so here it is our next values of x now our final answer is actually uh, here first value of x which is a real solution we have just find that x is equal to here it is x1 so x1 is equal to 5 we just write here x1 is equal to 5 it is actually our real solution now our next solutions are x is equal to here let's say x2 so x2 is equal to uh, minus 5 over 2 that is our next value that x is equal to minus 5 over 2 and minus 5 times square root of 3 i over 2 so x2 is equal to minus 5 over 2 minus 5 times square root of 3 i over 2 and similarly our final values on this one x3 so x3 is equal to minus 5 over 2 plus 5 times square root of 3 i over 2 so these two values are actually these are complex solution these are complex solution now we have just find out three values of x which is first one is x1 is equal to 5 it is a real solution and x2 and x3 are complex solution so we are going to check our entire solution here by all this step we have just find out the value of x so 
I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any problem, any doubts, you just ask question and comment box. And hope you have uh, just understand all these steps. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.